Hello there everyone, I'm Paul Tranny, Principal Evangelist here at Adobe, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the brand new Hover Auto Masking in Photoshop. It really makes it easier than ever to make selections, because it kind of does it for you. So let's dive in. All right, so here I am obviously in Photoshop and I want to select some of these flowers and what I'm going to use is the object selection tool. And as soon as I select it, it goes to work to find objects within this image. This is what we call Adobe Sensei. Some of that machine learning, understanding that in this, on this layer there are these flowers and all I need to do is click and click and just roll over any of this content that I want to select and click on it. And that's how I will select a lot of this content and I can click and drag and select some more as I'm doing right now, like so, subtract, whatever you need to do. I might want to grab a little bit more of this. You could obviously see what it does. Bam, turn that into a layer mask and then I can kind of manipulate it into place. Uh, but there's more it can do as well. So let's get into some more of the details actually as I scale this down. Uh, because I, I want to select, actually, uh, this woman's ear. And notice how I start rolling over this stuff. You might not like this overlay. Well, you can change a lot of that right in here. You can change the color. You can change the opacity. Drop that down to 30%. And you could actually just also just turn off, like never show the overlay if you want. Okay. And you could just say, hey, you know what? Don't even... Um, don't even find objects if you're not in that uh, mode for the image, uh, or you could manually refresh. So you could tell Photoshop when to go in and find images on that layer. So this is on, it's set to manual refresh, right? If I refresh, it will go in and uh, analyze that image. But all I need in this case is this ear, so I'm just gonna jump in and grab that air like so, duplicate that layer, throw a layer mask in there because I do want to kind of put those flowers behind her ear and this is what I'll just finish up doing, adding a little bit of shadow there. And there you have it, hover auto masking, saving me so much time in Photoshop. Now this is just one example of how to use hover auto masking in Photoshop, but try it out for yourself and please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new fresh content from Adobe and follow me on Instagram and all the social channels listed below uh, to keep the conversation going. And thanks so much for watching.